Oh, this is Aiden from 3131V. I'm just going to do a quick, I guess, like winter robot explanation because this robot, uh, won a states and got as far as some other events. Why did I turn it off? Okay. But yeah, so I got, let's just start with the dry chain because it's um, not really super special. So, for drive, after the haunted bot, we decided to switch to um, 450 on 3.25s instead of 450 on 2.75s just because we wanted more speed and stuff because the other one was kind of like kind of slow and more tanky. I wanted to like drift around people this time. That's also why we switched to like all on the drift drive. As you can see, it's like there's no traction wheels in there. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the drive chain, just 450 on 3.25s, five wide. We have um, the inlaid 48 tooth gears here and then the uh, just the regular 36 tooth gears here. Um, screw joints on wheels when possible, and then all other ones are just shafts and, and stuff. So yeah. Um, have a dormitory wheel right here. It's kind of trying to have a trash pod, but I don't really care. Like, it's, it's really bad. Uh, the inertial sensor here, stuff for the clamp, ramps. This is like broken off because goddamn finals. Uh, yeah, I also go to the clamp now. So let me go in the code. Yeah, clamp, it's just a kind of a simple two piston. The, the band is broken, so it's not coming back up. But just a two piston clamp here. Um, it's, attached, it's attached really badly, kind of like with these standoffs and stuff that are bending, but it, it worked pretty well for us. And then we just have the standoffs here. I grab the goal so I can show that now. We're just going to the goal, grab it. It's an omni clamp, so like I can clamp from any angle. That's why we don't really have any aligners, and it's it's just kind of secure, you know. So you can clamp the the flat side. I can clamp corner side, and it still scores like the exact same. I'll score now. That's the corner side. And if I were to do a flat side and score here, it, it's the exact same. It doesn't really matter. That's pretty nice for a driver because like you don't have to worry about the like oh no the liner didn't work I can't clamp and spend 20 minutes trying to unclamp and reclamp the goal and then eventually you, just, you lose the goal so yeah that's kind of it for clamp it's just attached on these L channels gotta go up to the I guess like intake support thingies so that's it for the clamp um I guess I don't know I can do intake now why not so intake is kind of a pretty easy like standard. 600 RPM direct to the um, first stage, the second stage here, which is then geared down kind of like, it's really hard to see. It's like geared down kind of, you can see there. Not geared down, it's just geared across uh, 36 to 36 to the first stage. And then first stage is like floating. So you have the chain there. The chain never broke in a match. It's like never ever broken. So, yeah, we have the piston here to raise the intake for Auton um, to get one off the stack. Have the ramps in there. Um, our ramps are like kind of broken right now. As you can see, like the tips came off. We have like a bunch of spares, so just never change them. But yeah, uh, the intake ramps are poly. Is there anything else in this spot that's poly? I think that's the only poly thing on this spot. Everything else is Delrin. I oh, know this is, this is poly. Um, they're just sanding down to make it like the frosted or whatever. Everything else is just Delrin, we cut with our CNC or laser cutter. Um, but yeah, for intake it's pretty standard, 5 flex wheel. Um, go in the code again. It's pretty smooth, it's not like really bad or anything, so it was pretty nice. It's pretty low friction too, I don't know how many watts it's running, but we never had that intake overheat in a match, so that's pretty nice. Um, going on to the front of the bot, um, we have ring rush and the gold steel doinker, so I'll start with ring rush. It's kind of like really bent right now because of uh, certain things that happen in elims. And oh my god! And throughout the day, but just off of one piston, we have the um, the hard stops here, which are just these like sprockets of chain. And then we have, I had a lot of people asking how this works. Um, let me do this. It's just, well, we changed it, but before it was plastic, but now it's just these like screws that have, um, they're on this uh, shaft collar here, so they can pivot. So just gravity based, we don't have any bands or anything. So when we go into the ring, let me get some rings here. 
Um, I don't know what the rings are. So we go to the rings, raise this down, go in, they flip down, and then I can drag them back. That's pretty much how the ring rest works. And it worked pretty well. Um, not really to grab the rings, but to like at least disrupt the opponent. Like you can see that in our finals matches, it really messed up our opponents. And we, we didn't win all time because we scored more. We just won all time because they didn't score at all, basically. Um, and it kind of messed up their all times a lot. At least for the first match. The second match, we scored some rings. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for a ring rush. It's just one long piston controlling this down and it's banded back up. Yeah, it's pretty hard to make it like fit within the packaging of the robot because the robot's 25 wide. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. Um, so it's a really thin robot, so it's, it's pretty hard to package everything into this. Um, yeah, so for Gold Rush Doinker, it's it's really, really bent right now. Um, but it's just this one piston on like that. Yeah, it's really bent, so it's not going to go back up nicely. Yeah, it, it's terrible right now. But yeah, just like that. And then we can use a three corner or an Auton. We never ran this Gold Rush, but whatever. We can just grab into the goal. It has a little, like hook here so I can drive in, deactivate it, the band will pull up, and if I drive backwards it'll actually like, you know, bring the goal along with it, so, um, yeah, that was pretty nice to, to use, um, but we never use it, but yeah, it was pretty cool, it looks cool too when it's not bent, um, yeah, I think that's it for the front of the bot, um, I guess bracing and stuff, we just have the long 35 long um, C channel there. We have L channel here for the um, intake. We have limit switch here for selecting autons. Radio mounted here. All the pneumatics are down here. Have some nice plastic here because it looks cool and it helped it mount the motor on the other side. And I have space for the tank down here. Just running one tank because, oh wait, I just don't need two tanks. There's no reason for the two tanks at all. Uh, yeah, moving on to Lady Brown. Uh, actually, I'll do hang first, so let me get the code. Hang is really jank because we built it like the hotel the night before states. Um, so it doesn't actually work. I tried to hit it one match and it just like didn't let me. So it's just like, just stupid hang. Let's band it up and then Lady Brown compresses it down. Uh, the bands are on the license plates because sometimes the hang would knock off the plates. And we didn't want to like have the refs mad at us for that. Oh, I forgot to do color sort. Okay. So we have color sort. Um, there's an optical sensor like somewhere in the robot here. I showed this. This is like impossible to show. Optical sensor like right there. Right there. It just measures the both the color. And another thing is like we measured the distance of the ring because optical sensor has like kind of limited, but like it's, it's fine. Like distance sensing capabilities. So you can, um, if the lighting like, is messing with your color sort, just measure the distance too, so that you don't have light. the lighting, like if it's blue lighting, that's not gonna trigger your blue color sort. Cause that happened to us at Haunted, I had to change that like right before Elims. So I've just been running uh, distance and um, color sensing. So right now I'm set to red. It's just not gonna do anything for the red rings, but if I'm interested in a blue ring, it just throws it out and I can change it to sorting reds. And does the same thing for the red band. Yeah, our color sort is like really, really consistent when um, the motor is not hot. I don't think we've ever had issues with scoring opponent rings, if I'm being honest. Um, and we have this in Auton too. Like, you can watch our finals matches. We intake blue rings when we were red, and they never go on the goal. Our color sort is really consistent. And I know people who had like issues with the optical sensor, like not sensing rings and stuff when it's going really fast. We just never had that issue. I mean, the only thing I can think of is like, Make sure you turn the light on. Make sure you put it in a spot where it's not like sensing the hole in the ring, where it's like sensing this part, then that part. Make sure it's sensing the side of the ring, so it's always like having something to sense there. Yeah, we, we never had issues with color sort. It's always been really consistent and, and super nice for us. So yeah, um, moving on to Lady Brown. Um, this is a pretty cool part of a robot. So we have the um, two five point five watts here, and those are geared. Let me see, um, twelve to thirty six. And so since they did a 200 RPM, this whole thing is running at uh, 66 RPM. So it's like decently fast, um, but it's kind of offset by the weight of the whole thing because it's, it's C channel with this um, standoff and L channel 
triangle bracing here and then the, had the tubing part, which is kind of heavy here. So yeah, and the plates on the end. So, you know, it's, it's decently heavy in the high strength axle there too. Um, we have the um, rotation sensor here to measure absolute rotation. And then these plastic pieces here, these Dublin pieces, are just to extend it because we run a long lady bound, um, mainly for scoring on auto. Like I can um, go to the place. So you can see here, we're like, we, it's like how you end up in one of our auto routines. I'm not close to crossing the line at all. The wheel is like right here. So it's not even close to crossing this line really. Um, I know it looks close, but it's not. But we can score here from auto. So I can just do this and like drive away. So it's really nice for scoring on Auton. I don't have to do like do the bark ball strategy. It's like drive here and the ring is like, you know, like hanging off the cap there. It's just, it goes on and, and I don't have to worry about it. Um, we mainly did that for Gold Rush Auton because it was a nine point Gold Rush Auton. It was one on each goal and then one on there. Um, yeah, I also did that to like reach over people when I'm scoring on Lady Brown. Uh, yeah. So for loading the Lady Brown, just use the 8198X code um, for the uh, different states. So yeah. It's like getting stuck on a bunch of things because it's so beaten up. But I can load in one. And then, you know, like score like that. Or I can load in the second one. So go up once. Then raise it up again. Where's the red one? And score that second one. I'm gonna go to the stake now. So at the stake, I can just drive up to the liner and then just score two at once. Um, it's usually cleaner than that, but whatever. But yeah, the way this just works is we literally, like I said in the fun interview, um, it's the first part copy pasted down here. Then for plastic, we have. Um, like this sort of like nub here for the bottom, for the top two. And this bottom one is just flat, so it kind of like pushes the back of the ring more so there. I think it would work better if it was like one of these. But yeah. Okay, that's just kind of how the, the Lady Brown works. So it's just, you know, copy paste it over. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of it for this robot. It was, it's a pretty simple robot, nothing crazy. Um, you know, liner here. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of it. I mean, it worked pretty well. It was really fast and agile and I could drive it really nicely. Uh, it's pretty nice to use drift drive after doing traction drive for like forever in VRC. So it was a really cool experience. And yeah, I mean, the one of the states, it got us to semis set score and finally hit some locals. So yeah, it was a pretty good robot. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the spot. It's going to get taken apart like within the next week for the world rebuild. Um, so yeah, I'll probably make a maybe a state two cap or something. I don't really, really know. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.